Okay, it is Monday. I just did some stairs. It's at the very end of my lunchtime. Did some stairs. Starting that. Uh, got, a, got it mapped out on the calendar how I'm going to progress uh, each week. And uh, also just walked around campus getting in, getting in some steps here on my lunchtime. It is about 7 a.m. Thursday. I'm at work. I've been here for a little while. Got the coffee made. Also made me some um, pre-made sausages in the microwave. Today is an eating day. So uh, usually I've been eating breakfast when I get to school, having something for breakfast. So I need to try to work my way to where I uh, don't eat till like 10 o'clock uh, in the morning to kind of extend my fast a few more hours. I'm going to try to do that. But right now, you know, I'm feeling pretty hungry first thing. But, uh, and also it's good it's an eating day because we have our book club tonight and we're meeting at a, another Mexican restaurant. Okay, it's lunchtime. I'm in the lounge again. I'm having broth. It's my eating day, but I'm going good with broth. And I want to, uh, I did stairs and, uh, you know, I'm gonna have a nice bowl of super salad tonight for uh, at the Mexican restaurant. Looking forward to it. Okay, I have browned this uh, 2.78 pound pork roast, uh, put a little uh, lard on the top of it, and I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees uh, for one and a half hours, and then I'll check it. Well, it is Saturday, it's noon, and uh, I ate uh, half that roast, maybe a little bit more than half of it, uh, uh, I guess around 11 o'clock. So I'll eat the rest of it later today, and hopefully that's all, I may eat a little bit more. But it's been a really good week. Um, I started the fast, the alternate day fasting, Saturday of last week. So I fasted Saturday, Monday, Wednesday and Friday and uh, I really wasn't tempted to get off the fast at all um, I was hungry at times but I just guzzled me some uh, electrolyte water every time I felt hungry and by the time I got home after work uh, you know it's not real long before I feel tired and want to hit the sack so you know I'm I'm motivated to last till the next day so uh, but one thing I want to do is is get it timed out where uh, my fasting is like I stop eating at six o'clock in the evening and then I don't eat again until like say for instance Sunday evening I stop at six I don't eat again till Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock in the morning and that will give me 40 hours of fast time and I got that specific idea from Gary Tooney Daly. Now he, uh, he threw hiked the Appalachian Trail a couple years ago. And so he, he messaged that to me and, and I'll, I'll post it or I'll, I'll show a picture of it if you want to see it. I, today I, I, I did that. I was able to wait until 11 o'clock before I didn't eat anything until that roast was done. 
Uh, so I'm gonna try to do that, you know, every eating day. And I appreciate him sending that to me. Uh, and, and of course, on I gotta be careful on Saturdays and Sundays when I do eat, to eat low carb. Uh, and really, and I've decided until April 5th, which is uh, the competition at school, the weigh-in day, the, the end of it, I'm gonna do carnivore uh, on my eating days, uh, at least until April 5th. Also, uh, I just wanted to mention that, uh, you know, Ken, my buddy, uh, the discerning hiker, he's got the hostel. He's been having biz good business, I think, uh, so far this season. But I noticed he had uh, New Hampshire, Taylor, the New Hampshire hiker. So many of you are going to be familiar with her. And I think that's uh, probably the first kind of more well-known hiker with the YouTube channel uh, uh, at his hostel, I believe. And so I noticed he posted a picture of her there. So I've been following her. Check, uh, check her out, of course, and you probably already do, but check out Ken and uh, the Discerning Hiker Hostel and, you know, spread the message. It's a good place. Ah, good Sunday morning, everybody. Well, uh, like I said, it, it's, it's been a good week. Uh, one thing I've been doing this week, which I don't usually do when I'm uh, trying to lose weight, I'm weighing every day. And I, I've just been curious uh, about how my body's reacting to this alternate day fasting. And, you know, I understand that, you know, you know, the water weight or the, you know, it, it it's not necessarily a true reflection of your weight when you weigh every single uh, morning. Uh, so, I, you know, I understand that. Uh, but I wanted to just see how my body was reacting. And so uh, it's been good every day. The day that I had the salad uh, uh, at the Mexican restaurant, at the book club met, uh, I had actually eaten a bunch of chips and salsa. But when I woke up the next morning on Friday morning and weighed, I weighed exactly the same that I did the day before. So uh, I thought, okay, well, that's a good sign. And then, you know, that fasting day of Friday, uh, I had lost a, uh, a pretty good amount of weight. So and I'm like, okay, this is pretty cool. And yesterday, of course, was an eating day, and I made that 2.78 pound pork roast. Well, I ended up eating that whole thing during the day. I was, I was full, I was comfortable. And so I didn't eat anything else. So when I woke up this morning and weighed, I'd lost two and a half pounds uh, since yesterday morning. So, you know, uh, things are working out. I was comfortable with what I've been eating during the day. So today is another eating day. And, you know, I'm gonna be careful, but I'm gonna try to be comfortably full and then see how that goes. But anyway, so far it's working out well. And uh, I'm gonna keep weighing every day until April 5th, the competition. And because uh, I really do want to win that trophy back. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and Lord willing, I will see you next Sunday.